If you can't fix your sleep schedule, you need to work out. You need to go to a gym. You need to go for a run. You need to pick up some weights. One, two, one, two. Hold up a second. Wait right here. One, two, one, two, one, two. You need to be alive. You need to feel like a person. That's what you need to do. I tell you this right now. I remember back in the day I had insomnia. Chicka pow, chicka pow, chicka pow. I had insomnia and it was crazy. Chicka pow. I had insomnia and it messed me up. I couldn't sleep. I had nightmares. I had night terrors. My body was freezing up, clutching. I had sleep paralysis. I had demons going through my body. It felt like spiders was crawling through my skin. I couldn't feel anything. My body was hurting me. Oh my goodness, it was so bad. You know what it's like to feel. That way do you know what's like to feel that way i do and it hurt it hurt my entire body it hurt my entire soul so what i did i started working out i started hitting that activity i started getting it. i put my right paw up put my right paw down put my left paw up and then i swing it all around that's what i did that's exactly what i did so i felt like a person again i felt like an actual human being a person i felt like i could be a person again because your body is made to move you're a bipedal creature you are designed beautifully constructed by your mom and your dad you are put inside the tummy for nine months or sometimes eight if you're a premium or seven if you're a premium i'm not gonna judge that that's how you operate that's who you are as a person but i want to tell you this right now as a person i want to tell you this and i want to tell you this right now if you're not moving your body if you're not consistently exercising if you're not feeling somebody if you're not feeling like your soul is leaving your soul in your body then you need to go out there and hit some jumping jacks hit some push-ups do something in that variety that's so simple that's so easy i love working out i love being a person i love being active or do something that is tiring to your body or your soul or something that is invigorating start start figuring out how to crochet you can crochet read a book read a book and be invested inside of that book or do something like cooking or do something like laundry something that is time consuming or watch a show that you enjoy but it's a comfort show so you can go to sleep because you already know what the show is there are many ways to fix your sleep schedule but you got to be committed and willing to do that you got to be committed in fixing that sleep schedule if you're not committed in fixing that sleep schedule then i'm, I'm sorry buddy i i Nope, I can't help you. I can't help you if you're not willing to actually put in the effort to actually fix your sleep schedule. You're not cooked. You're not a meal. You're not a dish. You are the entirety of the ingredients. You are raw. You are a human. You are visceral. You have to actively believe you can make it, do it, to it. You can actually believe in yourself. You can achieve with yourself. You can see with yourself. I am so proud of you just for existing. So be proud of yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, if you're telling yourself negative things every day, every which way, every which moment, let me tell you something very important right now. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you what you got to do. I'm going to tell you right now as a human being, you need to stop listening to those negative thoughts. I know it's hard to, I know it's hard to get out of your mind, get out of your own head, get out of your own body, get out of that out of soul experience, out of soul experience. Because you yourself are probably thinking to yourself, well, I can't function without a narcotic. I can't function without something in my body. I can't function without the devil's lettuce. You need to get that mindset out of your soul. You need to start eating vegetables. When's the last time you ate a vegetable? I don't know. Last time I ate vegetables not too long ago. I had some vegetables not too long ago. Actually, I had some ramen noodles, vegetables. I had some broccoli. I had some collard greens. I had myself some corn. Corn. corn is amazing. I love that. It's super cool. I love it. I had some carrots. Made my eyes feel better. Even though that's a big propaganda lie, carrots actually don't make your eyes feel better. That's actually a lie by the British government because they were running out of food. And that was one of the foods they had in abundance of. We're not going to talk about that though. I need you to be a person. I need you to go outside. I need you to feel the air. I need you to touch grass for me. I need you to fix your sleep schedule by making your whole body and soul tired because people who work out get better sleep because your body's exhausted and needs to recover. Work out something simple. Don't work out to lose weight. Work out for consistency. You work out, you go to the gym. Guess what? Your body's going to get sweaty. Your bed sheets are going to get messy and smelly. Guess what? Boom, bada bing, boom. You got to wash your sheets. You're going to be using a lot more energy. You got to learn how to cook for yourself. You're going to realize if you keep buying meals outside, you're going to spend too much money. So you got to learn how to cook for yourself. Learn how to cook learn how to use those knives in your kitchen learn how to make a sandwich for yourself learn how to be yourself learn how to breathe with yourself learn how to deal with yourself and that's how you actually achieve greatness in this lifetime because if you're not achieving greatness in this lifetime what are you doing what's the point what do you gain from this what do you gain from this interaction what do you gain from me what do you gain by watching me on this screen all day every day what do you gain from that why are you not outside we're not doing something or oh, work out with me we can work out together i got a discord i got a twitch i got everything you want to see me live stream we can work out we can do that together we can do this as a group a unit a, a friendship a coalition and communist russia somehow i don't even know how we got there but we're there and we're in the winter and we're snowing we're going we're great and we're doing great and that's the beauty of it that's how you gotta operate and go i'm telling you this right now as a person as a human or something like that i want to tell you this right now you need to be 
more of a person. That is my lovely wife behind me. It's National Girlfriend Day, but I'm going to see her in about an hour because that's when I'm going to get done with the stream. I want to tell you this right now. And as a person, and as a human, as somebody that is your friend, I'm so proud of you for existing. You need to be bipedal. Stand up. Uh, rise up. Uh, rise up. Not religious. I just like speaking like a pastor. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. I need you to rise. I need you to get up. I need you to get up out of bed. I need you to feel like a person. I need you to breathe. I need you to get up and hit two push-ups, three push-ups, four push-ups, five push-ups. If you hit 20 push-ups and got tired, well, the next day you're going to get tired. Next day you're going to get tired. Well, guess what? On the 15th day, you're going to be able to hit 20 push-ups without effort because that's time. That's experience. That's consistency. That's you doing your business. That's you doing your due diligence. That's you believing in yourself. That's you being a person. That's you breathing. That's you eating. That's you sleeping. That is you being the best version of yourself. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. If no one's told you today, if no one's told you tomorrow, if no one tells you in the future, if no one tells you in time, your entire body and soul and time, I am so proud of you. I'm so excited you exist because we exist together. Life is difficult. You're spending all this time trying to be a good parent, mother, sister, brother. You're trying to be wise without condescending. You're trying to muddle through without making any silly decisions. You're trying to have the correct political opinions. You're trying not to offend anybody. You're so scared to speak your soul. It is making you exhausted but not tired enough to go to bed. It's just making you tired inside of your own brain and mind. That's harmful to you. That's dangerous to you. You. that's dangerous to how you are as a person i need you to believe in yourself i need you to breathe with yourself i need you to sleep i need you to eat i need you to be more i need you to be a person and work out your body is so de deeply constructed to move it's so deeply constructed to be here i need you to be here with me that's what i need I need you to exist with me on this planet, on this spectrum, on this world, on this rise. I need you to be here. And if you're not here, guess what? I can't help you. 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 But I can help the people that want to improve, that want to be better, that want to do better for themselves. I can help those people. And those are the people that I wish to accept, that I wish to help out in the deepest way, in the deepest sense of the word. If you can do that, if you can do that for me, if you can do one thing for me, if you can do one thing for me, one thing, that's all I'm asking is one thing, is simply believe in yourself. That's all I want. Anyways, that's the end of my tangent. That's the end of my rant.